Hello and welcome to this channel's very first unboxing. Now I have never done an unboxing before and I'm so glad I waited until now because the piece I want to share with you today is, in my opinion, really beautiful and incredibly useful and versatile on top of that as well. I can see it going with pretty much everything, all of the outfits I want to wear this winter. So I'm really excited to show it to you. Now it is my first ever purchase from this brand and I have to say that the way it's packaged first of all is really nice. It comes in this lovely totem bag, totem being the brand as I'm sure you've already guessed or you already know from the title and thumbnail. So let me close this up and show you. So as far as I can see packaging is all recyclable which is really good and it does come with its own dust bag which has very understated branding on it so I'll bring it closer so you can see it. It is literally just stitched onto the bag as you can see so really lovely minimal branding. When I open it up and show you so it is this beautiful tea lock clutch so let me bring it closer so it does have this little plastic band to keep it closed and this is it so you can see that i got it in the smooth black leather there is a really nice um black version with white contrast stitching and silver hardware but i felt that this version with no contrast stitching and gold hardware would actually suit my style a lot better and I would be able to wear it with a lot more outfits. So I ended up going for this one. Now the mechanism is really pleasing as well. So basically to open it, you just flick the T and open it and I'll just show you. Oops. So you can see the clasp then. You have the totem branding here, so really minimal and understated. And I absolutely love when brands uh, put the brand name below the flap of a bag. Cezanne do the same thing with their Milo bags, and I think it is a really nice touch for those of us who do not really like logos, even though, of course, the T lock does give it away that this is a totem bag. Um, if you know, you know, I guess. But, uh, but certainly there's no ostentatious branding or prints on the bag, which I really, really appreciate. It does have feet as well, which again, I really, really love. I think that makes it more durable and versatile, especially for this type of leather, which is a really smooth leather, as you can see. And and I know from my black Mansur Gabrielle tote bag, which is made up of very similar leather to this smooth black leather, that it is prone to scratching. So I know I'm going to have to take care of this, but we'll see how it goes. So the feet are really going to help me take care of this bag and not be too precious about it because the whole point, I think, of adding something to one's closet, especially something this expensive, is to really use it, you know, really use and enjoy the piece and not be worried about scuffing it or, you know, getting it dirty or anything like that. So, so the feet are a fantastic addition and another reason why I chose this particular bag. It is a small size, so it's the clutch bag, as you can see, it's called the T-Lock clutch. And you can see it is a lovely manageable Hang on, let me stand further back so you can see. It is a lovely manageable clutch size, so very easy to just uh, hold with one hand, as you can see. Um, and I do not have big hands, uh, so it's nice and easy for me to hold, either like this, so you could just wear it down like this, or like this as well, or like this if you just wanted to tuck it under your arm. So really useful size. And then inside, there is also a crossbody strap. There is some really nice pale suede inside the bag as well, and a black leather slot for cards. It's also a little booklet on just care and maintenance as well, which I appreciate. So this crossbody strap 
connects to D rings within the bag and those rings are on the inside. I can't get it to focus on the inside of the bag so I'm just going to pop these on and you can see what I am talking about and this is a part of the design that I really like as well and let me show you why. Um, firstly it is because these little D rings or whatever you call them are fully movable so they actually rotate at 360 degrees which is really handy and will make sure that no matter what way i clip the strap onto the bag the strap won't get twisted because of that 360 degree movement within the d-ring so that is something i really really appreciate in the design i have to say um, so let me pop this onto the second D-ring. Now the only thing I will say is that because the D-rings are on the inside of the bag, while it does give a lovely smooth finish where the hardware is not outside the bag, which is lovely when this bag also functions as a clutch. And um, so I think it's really good that they put the D-rings on the inside. However, when it comes, as you can see, to actually clipping it, clipping the strap into these D-rings, it is a little bit fiddly. So just bear with me while I do this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so here it is now with the strap on the bag and you can see that the strap is really nice length. The strap is adjustable, as you can see. Again, really nice buckle. And there is some really, really minimal branding on the edge of the buckle as well. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but anyway, there are quite a lot of holes on the strap, so it just means that it's really adjustable. So I would say there's about, let me see now, do I have it on the last hole? I think I do. There's five holes worth of adjustment there, so about, and there is more than an inch between each hole, so I would say that's adjustable to the tune of about six inches which is really, really handy. So as a crossbody then, there is plenty of room, as you can see, for the bag. So it's really, really comfortable. Even if I had something bulkier on, I feel as though there would be plenty of room. And actually, I do have a new wool coat that I want to try this with. So I will show you that a little bit later on in the video and you can see if this length of strap can handle bulkier clothes as well but I suspect you can certainly when I'm just wearing something like this which is just a basic old dress and um, it, it is absolutely fine I've got plenty of room and um, now obviously if I wanted to wear it as a shoulder bag I could I actually love it at this length I think it's really really nice um but I could shorten it as well if I wanted to and yeah that is something I might do I'm not sure yet um, but so you can see that the bag itself has multi-functionality and is just a really beautiful and pleasing design. So what I will do now is I'll style it up with a few outfits so you can see how it looks in action. Remember to follow me on Instagram as well because I will be posting any outfits that I style with this bag. Um, we are going to Paris for my birthday in a couple of weeks so I'll be posting some pictures from that trip as well. So do go and follow me over there because I'm starting to post more and more style and fashion content over on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already subscribe to the channel. It's completely free and we'll make sure you never miss a video.
I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you on my next one. Bye.